one. what's up y'all it's your girl shay renee and we are going to talk about this whole buzz over the internet that's going on recently with these two kardashians in particular let's watch this scene where kim and courtney are on the phone and courtney tells kim girl i can't stand your ass okay let's watch at my wedding like you weren't happy for me because so you, you have you wanna, a serious you vendetta you just are a different you you hate us you you're a different person we all talk I about it i don't need you guys anymore all i don't of, need to be a part of it all of your friends call us complaining whether you think they're the ones going to you they're all coming to us on the side saying the opposite to us so we're all confused and we're on a group chat that's actually labeled not courtney so we know and have to funnel what your friends are saying to us and have to figure out why you're such a different person and why you and have this you vendetta think I out want to be a part of that so you're telling me that i'm unhappy and that i'm miserable and that you have a side chat called not Courtney, but you're telling me that you're happy for me. What can what I do about? to make you feel Think that about it? You well, want certainly not having side chats specifically as me as the topic. Like, wh who the f has time? Maybe you guys need to go think about why if you're not happy. But that's what you have time for to sit and have side chats specifically to talk about me. We're allowed to express to concern. We have side chats about everybody. That's just what you do. Life. Okay, so Kim, girl, we're going to have to gather you real quick in the beginning of this because at the end of the day, I know Courtney is annoying and she don't want to work. She lays it, all this stuff. But let me say this, okay? And we're going to get into that. Girl, don't you ever be having no side chats with your sister's friends talking about her. That's just lame, tired, and delayed. There is no way that anybody is going to have me having a side chat talking about any of my siblings. I can say whatever I want about my sibling, but you better not say it. Best believe if anybody was out here trashing one of my siblings or talking trash about any of my siblings, I'm going to let you have it. Now, if you're telling me some information that's going to let, allow me to assist my sibling and help them to do better, Yes. Like, let's say if they have an addiction problem or something like that, where well, I need to be involved because it's life threatening or something like that. That's what we will be talking about. But you just out here talking about she getting on your nerves or she doing this and she doing that. And it's not nothing real detrimental to her life. Girl, boo and boo and bad to this chat. Don't be having no side chats talking about your sister. And then you putting it out on national TV that her friends are like this. It's crazy to me. And Courtney, and I should have posted it here. I may post it at the end. I'm not sure if I can find it. Courtney posted a chat with her friends saying that um, for her to say something like that and say that we have this um, non-existent chat is just really crazy. We don't have a chat with her. Mind you, her friends probably lying. OK, and if they are lying, I'm sure Kim has evidence of said chat, but she probably ain't going to show her because then that would mean she got to show all that she probably been saying about Courtney. But also the other thing that pissed me off about Kim is why are you bringing up stuff that her children are saying to you on this TV show? You know, some stuff is just not for TV. I get it. Y'all been at it for, on this show for over a decade now. And this has become one of y'all biggest, uh, y'all a big piece of y'all bread and butter. I get it. But let's leave the kids out of it. Now, you will be pissed and to the highest level of pissivity if your children went to Courtney and were talking about you and saying, mommy this or mom doesn't do this or mom dad and mom does blah, blah, blah. And she didn't come and tell you off camera. You will be pissed. So give people the same respect that you will want you you will you need to that you will want them to give you. Period. 
So all that stuff with her kids and all that, that was just too team too much. You were just trying to jab at this girl. Now, let's talk about this wedding. Girl, wasn't nobody uh, in, uh, trying to be up here trying to outdo you at your wedding? You know that these your sisters are all about their business, okay? You, on the other hand, wouldn't understand that, Courtney, because you're lazy ass. You are a bona fide pillow princess. Ever since you, Courtney started having children, I see people all over the internet talking about, Courtney never wanted to be on the show. Courtney, can she doesn't have to come back if she doesn't want to. She can do this. Courtney can do it. She can do anything. But what the fuck does Courtney do? If she wants to come in and out, in and out whenever she wants to, like their brother Rob, that's up to her. She can do that. But Courtney wants to get a check. And Courtney is is expecting somebody to take care of her. That's what she's expecting. Now you marry. You can do that. Rob comes in and out because their mother coddles him and allows him to do that. The little sock line that he got going on, if it's still successful, is only because of their mama. Let's make that very clear. Rob ain't want to uh, be consistently on TV until he was in a relationship with Black China, uh, better known as Angela White now. And had a baby with her and they both were working together to piss off Tyga and dag on um, his little sister Kylie. Which is a whole nother story in my opinion. That's why they got together in my opinion. However, all of that is just stupid and tired. Then people want to say, oh, and they're trying to make Kendall and Kylie just like them. Yeah, you want to make your little sisters business savvy? Yeah, I hope they do make them like them. Because the reality is, y'all sit up there and hate on Kim Kardashian talking about some, the only reason she's famous is because she slept with Ray J. That is so old and and done. Y'all got to find a new reason not to like her. Okay, y'all talk about how they turn all the men crazy and this, that, and the third. Well, that's these men's choice to be with them. It's something about this family that is is wrapped up in an enigma where y'all just can't get enough. Y'all keep on watching them. But yet you complain about why are they successful? Why are they famous? Let me tell you something. The last thing I'm ever going to do is be sitting over here counting somebody else's ducats. I'm just not. If they get money, they get money. Kim, Kim has skims. She has her skincare line. Kylie has her lip kits. She sold the business from my understanding, but she still has a percentage of the business where she's making money. Kendall is modeling. She's a brand ambassador for various things. Chloe has her jean line and she's a brand ambassador for various things, making money. Chloe has always been a worker bee. And getting back to Courtney, people talk about Courtney has this degree in fashion design and this, that, and the third, and how she was the one that was into fashion and she was the one with the, you know, wanted to do the Dash store and all this. Child, if y'all go back and watch the Kardashians, Courtney ain't never want to damn work. Courtney was all into that store in the beginning, but then Chloe was the one that was really into the business and taking over. And Courtney, once she started having children, that was all she wanted to be about. And that's okay. If you want to be a housewife and just be a mom, do that. But don't sit here and low rate your sisters or constantly talk trash to them about what you don't want to do. You don't want to show up to this. You don't want to do that. Well, bitch, how you going to get paid? That's what I want to know. And all y'all people that's telling her to stop doing the show and Courtney, go do your own thing. You can do it. What are y'all going to support that she does outside of this show? I'll wait. Because I guarantee most of y'all don't know anything that Courtney is talented in beyond this show. Y'all talk about how none of them are talented, this, that, and the third. But what does Courtney do? Are y'all going to buy? She She's a vegan. Are y'all going to buy some recipes from her vegan? If she does a vegan cookbook, is she even going to do the work to do a cookbook? Courtney over here about to have her fifth child. Okay. Or four is fourth or fifth. I'm not girl. Don't give me the line. She about to have another kid with Travis. Travis got money. Girl, go sit down and don't talk to your siblings if that's what you want to do. Because at this point, I'm getting tired of it. And I know they tired of dealing with it. 
It's Courtney has all has been a monotone, lazy, complaining, B I E I E I for the longest time. As the oldest, I will give you this. Courtney looks damn good for her age. Courtney is aging very well for her to be non-melanated. Okay. But at the end of the day, Courtney is a lazy person. She does not want to work. And Kim and Chloe have been complaining about that for years. And y'all don't understand when somebody is sitting up there trying to force you into taking care of them. Because here's the thing. Courtney knows that they're branded as a trio. Even though Kim can go off and Chloe can actually go off. They're, they're successful enough in their own right where they can do things on their own. That's not the case with Courtney. People don't look at her. People look at them as a bona fide trio, a package deal with the three of them. Y'all are not buying into Courtney by herself. And that's just the bottom line. Okay. So miss me with the whole, oh, Courtney, you can do this. Yes, you can. No, she can't. Maybe she can, but she won't. So y'all comment down below. What do y'all, what are y'all going to support Courtney in doing if she leaves the show? What is Courtney doing currently outside of the show that is making her um, a significant amount of money like Chloe and um, Kim? Um, what do y'all think she wants from her sisters? Why can't they just get along? Okay. I remember the Courtney that used to just be, uh, you know, kissing and corners with scott and doing this and, and just being all lovey-dovey with him and then she would do rough play with chloe and play around with her she was a fun going person but it's just something with her and kim i don't think that i think she envies kim's success but she doesn't want to put the work in that kim puts in to have the success that she has and i think that that pisses kim, courtney off and i don't know why she's so pissed off at somebody else's work ethic but child, she got to give it up. Thank y'all for watching. Please, please, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, share, share this video with anybody else that thinks that these two need to let it go. All right, y'all. Until next time, peace out.